guys here's a quick video to show you how to use your edison os mini once you plug the box in guys as we said in the setup video it will take a few minutes for the box to boot up and um and to populate but when i say populate what i mean is download all the epg or the seven day tv guide so the box might be a bit slow as you're using it uh, when you initially plug it in but don't worry it will speed up it'll take about two or three minutes for this to happen so once you actually connect your box to the internet and you turn off your box and you plug it back in again um as i said just give it a few minutes and uh, and it will speed up so what i want you to do with your remote guys is press the tv button okay when you press the tv button what it's actually going to do it's going to take you here to your tv guide okay you're going to have your entertainment your, mu mu your movies your music your sports your documentaries your news, your kids, everything. So just for example, if we go into movies, okay? Uh, when you go into movies, obviously, when you scroll down, you can see on the right-hand side what's on now and what's on next, okay? So just for example, we click into here into Sky Greats, okay? And you can see here, it goes straight into it. And it's very, very immediate. Now, as you're watching your channel, if you want to see what you're watching, guys, just press the OK button. It's going to bring up uh, what's on now and what's on next. If you press the OK button again, so it press the OK button twice, it's going to bring up a detailed description of actually what you're watching. So exactly the same as Sky there, guys, okay? Now, if you want to see more than what's on now and what's on now, what's on now and what's on next, what you want to do, guys, is press the EPG button. The EPG button. When you press the EPG button, guys, you're going to bring up your seven-day TV guide, okay? So as I said, you can see forward seven days into the future. So that's Monday the 27th of June, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on and so forth okay and if you want to if you want to set a recording for a couple of days into the future so we'll just say the ant bully all you want to do is go down to it and press the record button which is on the bottom right hand corner of the actual remote control it's going to come up add timer you click add timer and now that's recording you can see the record button if you want to take it off you just press the record button and you go delete timer and it's as simple as that guys and that's basically how you record okay guys now just for example, uh, you can pause live TV, all you need to do is actually just press the pause button and you're going to pause live TV and then you press the play button then and it'll just continue on playing with it, okay? After you pause live TV and you try to change channel, it's going to come up with a question, it's going to say you seem to be in time shift, do you want to leave the time shift? You just want to say yes, but don't save time shift as movie, okay? So you want to say yes, but don't save time shift as movie. And then you're back watching live TV then again, guys. Okay? Now, just for example, if we want to record what we're actually watching. So we're going to record superheroes. Uh, we're going to record the Fantastic Four. So you just press the record button. And when you press the record button, you're going to come up, come up, it's going to come up with a couple of options. It's going to add recording, stop recording after the current event. So if I click that, it will record the rest of this movie. And it will stop recording after the movie. Add recording indefinitely. If I click that, it record, and even after the movie's finished, it will continue recording until I actually manually tell the box to stop recording. Okay? Add recording, enter recording duration. So basically, if I clicked into recording duration, I could I could put in the amount of time that I wanted to record for. So if I put in 30 minutes, it would only record for 30 minutes, and then it would stop recording. And likewise with enter recording in time. It would stop at the time that I told it that. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to just press Add Recording Indefinitely. Okay? So now, that, that is recording here. As you can see in the right-hand corner there, the little flashing record button. That's recording the Fantastic Four. And we're just going to let that record there for a few minutes, okay, guys? Now, this is very, very important. If you only have one cable coming from the dish, so if you're already using LMB1, you can only record what you're watching. I'm going to repeat that again guys, if you only have one cable coming from the dish, you can only record what you're watching. Now, if you have two cables coming from the dish, then you can record two things at the same time. You can record one while watching another, okay? So at the moment guys, all we're doing, we are recording what we're watching right here, okay? So if I want to stop the recording guys, I just press the record button again and it's going to come up with a hell of a lot of options, okay? It looks a bit complicated, but don't worry. It's not that complicated. All you want to do is go down to stop recording, okay? So now we've stopped recording, guys, okay? And we'll just scroll up another channel to Sky Disney. Now, if I want to see my recordings, there's a little button right next to the volume button, the channel button, on the remote control, and it says PVR, PVR. When I click PVR, guys, it's going to go into all my recordings. So as you can see, earlier on I actually recorded Sky Sports tonight. 
And as I said, we were just recording the Fantastic Four. So when you press the PVR button, you go into your recordings, okay? So all I go into the Fantastic Four, press OK, and it will then take me into what I recorded. You can see the viewing time remaining is 37 seconds. And that's it guys. So that's how you that's how you do your recordings and that's how you actually go into your recordings then. If I want to stop that recording, I just press the stop button, which is on the bottom left hand corner of the remote control, and it takes me out here. If I want to delete it, as you can see there, the little red button delete it. So I'm going to delete the Fantastic Four there now. And fantastic. And what we'll do is we'll actually delete Sky Sports tonight as well. So there we go. Fantastic. Now just because you delete something, it's exactly the same as Sky guys. They are in your deleted items section. So if you want to clear your, your memory stick, you want to delete them off. So you really want to delete this permanently from Fantastic Four uh, from the trash can, yes. So you have to make sure that you, if you are cleaning up, cleaning your, um, I suppose, your recording sections, you want to go into your deleted items as well. Okay, guys? So that's the live TV part of it. And that's how you view the live TV part of it. Okay, guys? Now, a very, very important thing is these remotes uh, automatically sync to the TVs as well. So just for example, if you... If you, um, I suppose, were looking to change the channel someday or turn up and down the volume because, as I said, it does um, control the volume of the TV as well. And if it's not working, all that it means, I don't know if you can actually see that, you probably can't actually, my apologies, is the TV, is uh, the remote control is probably synced to the TV. So on the top of the remote control, you're going to see three, four buttons, STB, VCR, DVD and TV. You just want to make sure that it's clicked on to STB okay stb is the box okay so if one day that the remote control isn't working all it means it's just like i suppose if your tv uses if your remote control has control over your tv your sky your sky box and your dvd uh your dvd box you just need to make sure that the remote control is synced to the box and the way to do that is just click stb it's in the top left hand corner just under the power button guys okay and that's it now that's the live TV guys, we're going to take you to the on-demand section now. The on-demand section is very easy accessible. All you need to do is press the red button as you're watching TV. As you press the red button, you're going to go into here, Plex Server. So you don't want to go into anything else here guys, you don't want to go into live TV, about system or live TV. You want to click OK on Plex Server. When you click OK on Plex Server guys, what it's going to do is going to take you into this little section here. So we now have TV shows and they're all in alphabetical order from A to F. Uh, G to M, so on and so forth. We've got live concerts, and then we've got movies, A to G, uh, so on and so forth. We've got a Disney section, a classic movie sections, our new releases, stand-up comedy, TV gold, kids sections, reality, all of the soaps, so on and so forth. The soap section is very, very good, guys. I'm actually going to go into the soap section, just for an example. When we go into the soap section, I'm just going to click all shows, and it's going to come up here with all your Coronation Street, EastEnders, Emmerdales. So we'll just go into EastEnders here, for example. And season 32, which is the season that we're watching at the moment. And as you can see, it's every single EastEnders there out that, that's been out this year. So what we'll do, we'll just click into one of these EastEnders guys back from March. And just press OK. And when we press OK, guys, what it's going to do, it's going to just automatically bring in uh, whatever you're actually intending on actually watching. Okay? And that's simply it guys, if you want to get out of, uh, when you're watching something on the on demand, you just press the stop button, and the stop button is basically just going to take you back out to the main screen again, okay? So that's a nice little handy section there guys, you don't need to be recording all your Coronation Streets or EastEnders anymore, okay? So I'm just going to go across here guys, and I'm going to go into TV shows, okay? I'm going to go into TV shows. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now normally I click into all shows, but if you know this, if you know what you're actually intending to watch, you can just go over to search show and type it in and it'll come up straight away. But I'm just going to type in all shows here, just for as an example, okay? And as you can see here, guys, there's a, de there's a detailed description of the actual uh, TV show. And there's a little photograph there as well. So just for example, we're going to go down here to, we'll just say for example, two brokers. Click into two, two brokers, press OK, go down to whatever season that you want to watch. So we'll say season two. And 
and all the episodes of season two then are going to come up with a detailed description guys so just for example we'll click into any one of these okay and this is really really handy because as i said you're never going to have to do any recordings anymore for your um for your coronation sheets your eastenders any kind of tv show especially for your game of thrones um, I know Game of Thrones comes out here on a Monday at nine o'clock, whereas it's on this box on a Sunday at um, Sunday at nine o'clock. So you can actually watch it Sunday, Sunday evening, because that's the time that actually comes out over in America. Okay, guys. So when you're in here, all you want to do is just press OK, and it's going to bring up whatever TV show that you actually want to watch. Then okay, um, and it's also going to give you a nice detailed description of actually what you want to watch then as well, which is handy. Now all this is coming off a server guys, so this isn't streaming, um, it's all coming off a server. And as I said, if I want to exit out of that, uh, unfortunately the exit button does not work here, so you have to press the stop button. So we'll just press the stop button, and we'll exit out of all that back out into our live TV. And as I said, in your Plex you're going to find all your movies and everything. If you press the green button on the remote control, uh, as you've seen in the setup video, it's going to bring up your signal. And your yellow button is obviously going to bring up your internet connections. Your blue button, excuse me, let me just exit out of that. Your blue button is going to bring up um, your ITV player, your 3 player, your RT player, and all things like that as well. So you can go and have a little fiddle around with those as well, guys. Uh, very, very easy to use. That's the box, guys. Um, that's how to, to work the box properly as well. Uh, if you have any problems, uh, please feel free to contact our technical support team. Uh, the technical support number is located on a sticker on the box. All you need to do is ring us up and uh, quote us the box number and we can remotely access the box here from the office and we can talk you through any any, any short fix. Uh, thank you very much for your time, guys. Much appreciated and enjoy your viewing.